Hi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Adada Sport Company. We are from Group One, Session Nine, and we are going to present our business project. Before that, my name is Dina Bradu, and another member's name. Adam Daniel Ben Kamaruddin, Muhammad Dafa Rafi Radifan, Nur Farizatul Anis Binti Abdul Rahaf, Nur Akilah Binti Zawabi. I want to tell you guys our project timeline. The first one, company overview, type of business, market analysis and marketing strategy, operational plan, and the last uh, financial plan our business adada sports the name of our company is formed by the combination of the partner of adada sports which are a adam d dafa a anis d dina and a akila our company is a manufacturing business which produce a product named running shoes the company was located at Seri Gombok, Selangor. Company mission to help people who want to reduce surface while trying to live a healthier and more comfortable life. This product is convenient for people of all ages, especially the elderly who want to provide relief from food pains and comfort throughout use. It is our high value product, which is running shoes and provide them the most comfortable running sports shoes that have various features. Our company detail Adada Sports. We are general partnership at located Jalan SD 4 Slack Egg, Taman Seri Gombok, Senango. Contract number 03. Eight zero zero one seven nine one zero. Website www.adadasprots.com. Email adadasprots at gmail.com. Management team We have five managers, which are me as chief operating officer, Anis as customer service manager, Dafa as marketing manager. Akhila as Information System Manager Adam as Finance Manager I will pass the next presenter Nur Farizatul Anis Assalamualaikum, my name is Nur Farizatul Anis binti Abdul Raouf and my metric card number is 2013016 I will proceed our presentation with our product uh, which our company Adada Sports have decided to produce and sell running shoes and we especially want to provide it for the elderly use or in other words the senior citizens. We will provide the most comfortable running sports shoes that has various features which can help to provide more comfort, lessen the pain and also uh, reduce the sore feet. Um, next slide is the product materials. So basically we have five materials in order to produce our product. The materials are fabric, sponge, rubber, leather and also box for the packaging. Okay, then this slide shows the features of our product. <clears throat> the first one is lightweight design with excellent arch support. This feature can avoid excessive pressure on the arch. Second, our company also provide a cushion and comfortable insole. So this provide a wide range of benefits, focus on aligning feet into a healthy position when standing, walking or running. So it will give maximum comfort to the feet. Okay, um Last but not least, we also provide white and flexible with roomy toolbox and this will offer the foot uh, more freedom to move and your feet will be able to provide their own stability with natural support. This will also help to improve the stride and also ease the pain and allowing to better enjoy the longer runs. That's all from me. 
Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Dafara Firadivan And now I would like to continue our group presentation Now I would like to explain about market analysis and marketing strategy of Adada Sports The first one is market analysis Our targeted market, our targeted customer are niche market Customers whom the majority of them are senior citizens or often we call it elderly It's single-sided market means that we only focuses on one class, on one category. The next one is customer relationship, how we manage to engage the customers and how we improve the customer's experience. By acquire and retain customers and resales, by personal assistance, we communicate with the customers during the sale process or after the purchases, create communities among them, And the last one, customer service call centers for any inquiries, for service, maintenance, customers complaint, and any other inquiries. The next one is marketing strategy. Our acquisition channel, where we, where we find the customers, where we bringing in the new customers, where we meet the new customers for the first time, are television, and social media, like Facebook. Our delivery channels where we communicate with the customers are social media and website. The next one is the promotional tactics. How we promote our product by attractive promotions on social media, by Instagram posts or YouTube video, Promotional sales pricings like product discounts, like New Year discounts or Ramadan discounts, something like that. By advertising, advertising in website, in television, in newspaper, and any other. And the last one is endorsements by public figure or by celebrity. The last one, our place of market where we sell our product Competition with Al Ihsan Sports and online marketplace like Shopee. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The operational plan is divided into three parts, which is production, inventory, and distribution. For production, we assemble all the raw materials such as leather, rubber, fabric and sponge to produce a pair of shoes with the help of machines and human expertise. We focus on the details and the quality of the product to create a pair of shoes that will give maximum satisfaction towards the customers. Customers' opinions are taken into consideration to come up with a brand new design. As for inventory, All the finished products will be stored in a company's warehouse that is located inside the company's factory. Inventory of finished products will be monitored from time to time to avoid surplus or shortage. Finally, for distribution, we deliver the finished products from company's warehouse to Alexand Sports Store. The diagram below shows the flow of the finished products which is from factory and will be stored in the company's warehouse and then we will deliver the finished products to Alexand Sports Store. We move to the last part of our presentation which is financial plan. This is our cost classification. In manufacturing overhead, we plan to have rent expense and depreciation of our machinery. In the selling and administrative costs, we have insurance, advertising and the depreciation of furniture. Not to forget, the variable manufacturing overhead and the variable selling and administrative also part in the cost classification. In the direct material cost, we needed five different items to have the finished product or to produce the finished product. Those are box, fabric, sponge, rubber and leather. Direct label has also been classified in the cost classification. Our label will gain Add ringgit per hour. Direct material and direct labor will be needed in our product cost as it is part of the process in making a unit of our product. Our group decide to sell our finished goods at 180 ringgit. 
our group will gain a contribution margin of 81 ringgit per unit because the total cost for our product is 99 ringgit. In our production budget, we expect to have 10% increase in our production for the next month's sales and decide to have 20% of ending inventory of the following month. In addition, we decided to have 10% of materials on hand at the end of each month for our production. In the CVP analysis, we use equation method when calculating our break-even and target profit of our company. Our group conclude that the break-even point is approximately to 131 units. Same method applied to our target profit. The target profit that our company wants to achieve is 500,000 ringgit. And the calculation, as you can see from the slide, our group will succeed if we can sell our product at 6,304 units, which equal to 1,134,000. 666 ringgit and 67 cents in sales. Next one is our statement of profit and loss. In our statement of profit and loss, our group managed to gain a profit Alhamdulillah, for the current year and hope this success can be constant through on other years as well. As you can see, we managed to gain a profit which is equal to 1,784,343 ringgit. After the statement of profit and loss, we move to the next part which is statement of financial position. As you can see, this is our statement of financial position of Adada Sports Company. So, we managed to balance the asset and equity part. We hope this information that has been made can attract more secondary user and attract the investor to our group as we will promise them a bigger dividend in the future when they invest their money in our company. I think that's all from our group. I hope you enjoyed this video presentation and also understand what had been presented to you from the beginning until the end. Last but not least, our group would like to say Happy Ed Mubarak during this uh, shawal and Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.